Skywatch Media News for July the 22nd, 2020. In eastern Africa, within the desolate expanse of Ethiopia's Afar region, lies the juncture of three tectonic plates that are gradually pulling away from one another, creating a vast rift and slowly forming a new ocean. Satellite data is presently showing that the oceanic crust is beginning to form, and GPS measurements are helping scientists to better determine what is taking place below the Earth's crust. Scientists already know that tectonic plates are continuously moving, but they are still uncertain as to what force is driving the separation of the three tectonic plates. It's possible that gigantic superheated rocks are moving upwards from the mantle at the point known as the Afar Triple Junction, where the three plates meet, but this is a theory yet to be proven. What is known is that the Earth's crust is comprised of a dozen large tectonic plates, all of which are oddly shaped rocky slabs that constantly collide with or stretch apart from one another. For millions of years, the Arabian plate has been shifting away from Africa, a process that created the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. But that's not all. The Somali plate in eastern Africa is pulling away from the Nubian Plate, separating along the East African Rift Valley, situated in both Ethiopia and Kenya. Scientists are eager to find out what is happening below the Earth's surface in the Afar region, where the continental rift is slowly occurring. The problem with studying this remote area is the fact that the environment in this region is extremely harsh, which makes for difficult working conditions. Scientists often refer to the Afar region as Dante's Inferno, where daytime temperatures often exceed 130 degrees Fahrenheit, with a low of only 95 in the evening. At present, the research is concentrated around a massive crack that extends for more than 35 miles across the Ethiopian desert. The rift, which was first observed in the year 2005, shows a series of faults and fissures that formed as Africa rips apart. It is equivalent to an astonishing 700 years of tectonic plate movement occurring within a very short time frame. In retrospect, it is the birth of Africa's new ocean, which one day will fill the void produced by the Continental Rift. Each of the plate boundaries in the Afar region are spreading at different speeds, but the combined forces of the plate separation is creating a mid-ocean ridge system where a new ocean will eventually form. What this all represents is that the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden will push water in over the Afar region and into the East African Rift Valley, and here it will become a new ocean meaning that this part of East Africa will become its own separate continent. The process of separation is slow as it is most always with continental shift. The Arabian plate is moving at about one inch per year, while at the same time the two African plates are separating at an even slower rate, somewhere in between one half inch and two tenths of an inch per year according to satellite data estimates. The rift zone created by the separation of the three tectonic plates is a worrisome sign since the crack is continuing to widen and stretch across the East African Rift Valley, 
swallowing up everything in its path, including homes, farms, roads, and bridges. The Continental Rift is one of the more extraordinary changes happening on the Earth today, and one that will undoubtedly reshape the African continent. Earlier this month, two extraordinarily rare red rainbows suddenly appeared in the sky, one located in Finland and the other located in China. The sky anomalies were reported five days apart. These rare sky events followed on the heels of a strange event in Canada a month earlier. On July the 11th, a fisherman noticed a very unusual rainbow on Lake Pajani in Finland. According to statements by the fisherman, the appearance of the red rainbow was so disturbing that he packed up his fishing gear and headed home. Five days later, on July the 16th, a double-sided red rainbow was spotted arching across the sky over China, following in the aftermath of a storm. Back in early June, a blood rainbow appeared in the sky over Calgary, Canada. All of these events are considered very rare. So what exactly is going on in the sky these days? Researchers from the National Center for Meteorological Research have studied hundreds of rainbow images over the years. What they discovered is that during sunsets, when sun rays are scattered by air molecules and dust, the width of the red wavelength band increases, decreasing the blues and the greens that are typically found in a rainbow. This is a scientific finding for the crimson rainbows. But do these rare atmospheric exhibits portend something more sinister in nature, a sign or an omen of things to come? The Finnish fisherman saw the red rainbow as a sign of danger, and he quickly left the scene. But could there be a paranormal explanation for their appearance in the sky? It depends on the individual's view of the world and the powerful forces that can play tricks on one's psyche at that particular moment.
Please stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching.